Hi everyone, I'm going to continue the series of the Dafyomi today. We are on page number 39, that is Perikit Lama Tet, respectively, in Masechet Nazir, Tractate Nazir. What's interesting, talking all about a Nazrite, with his qualifications within regards to becoming a Nazrite, one of the qualifications is, for example, if he's going to take a term of a 30-day Nazrite status, he's not going to be able to cut off or shave off his hair during those 30 days. That's one of the requirements. So the question can be posed, what if bandits are going to come in the middle of the night, let's just say, and they come and they uh, cut his hair off while he's asleep or whatever it might be, or they might do it via force. What is going to be the law on that? Will he have to start the Nizirut again or not? So the Talmud today in today's page is going to state that the Nazarite term will have to start all over again. He's going to have to start the 39 days again because of this issue according to that. However, then they get into another discussion in the Talmud today. It brings about another case. Where does the hair really grow from? Does it grow from the root of the hair that like inside there or is it from the outer, from the top of the hair naturally? From where does it grow from over here? That's another question that can be posed and that could be significant in that halacha over there because in that halacha, if the person cuts off the hair in the middle of the night, whatever it might be, could be a bit of the hair is left over, it's going to be. So if you argue that it comes from the root, that it's, it's from the root of the hair, you've got to cut the root off, then technically it might still be a nazi, you could argue, because you didn't cut the root of itself, you didn't shave it off all the way. So that could be that, that specific argument. However, if just by cutting the top of the hair off will make someone a nazi, then unequivocally the guy would have to start definitely the term again. However, whichever way you look at it, it seems like the Gomorrah has concluded, the Talmud has concluded that one would have to start the Nizurut status again if a bandit or someone is going to cut off his hair or it's going to be cut off accidentally, so and so forth. Okay, guys, have an awesome day. That was page 39, Lamatet of Mesachet Nazir.